What's up, AB Pro? Shul Techno here, coming at you with a video on uh, advancing the playhead frame by frame. So we need to get iMovie open, and I kind of have to assume that you have done a project in iMovie. Whenever I survey, I find that almost everybody has. How to get iMovie open? I could go to my Applications folder in Finder, so I'm in the Finder menu right now, and Applications, and I could find iMovie here. Alphabetical, there it is. I could also hit my Expose button, which uh, shows all of my apps. It's in the top row up in your function keys. It's actually F4, and iMovie should be in there. Um, or you could save it to your dock. Now, I believe I have iMovie open already, sure enough. And I was uh, shooting a video for my construction class here on how to set up scaffolding properly. And what I want to show you here, uh, first of all, just we got to jump into iMovie, right, at some point here. And I do have some crash courses that I'm going to have you watch. But I'm going to zoom in on the timeline, upper right-hand corner here. Uh, this is 12 minutes worth of video. So when I zoom all the way out, these are highly compressed and it really doesn't allow me to see details. So I want to zoom in to the point where I might be making some edits. And now I can see waveforms for my audio here. And the playhead, which is a technical term, this white triangle, wherever the playhead is is where the action is going to start or happen. I could split the clip there. We'll get to all that. Spacebar to play. There we go. And now I'm locked in. Three what I want to show you with time code is iMovie keeps it simple. They only show minutes and seconds. They don't show frames. However, if you want to advance frame by frame, you can. In order to do so, you have to click the arrow keys, the right and left arrow keys. So if I right arrow key right now, I am hitting the arrow key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It just switched over to 348. I want you to take a look at the timer right here. I'm going to jump back. I'm at 3 minutes 47 seconds. 348, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I switched to 349 after 30 frames. This is 30 frame per second video, which is standard. We heard that 29.97 NTSC standard. They kind of round up, but 30 frame per second is pretty much standard for internet video. We see 60 frame per second now, uh, and when you go to the movie theater, you see 24 frame per second. But I want, what I wanted you to try to do with this is just to jump into iMovie, get a clip in the timeline, and just arrow key through it. And the cool thing is, when you arrow key through, you can get a very accurate place where to splice. So let's say as soon as I go out of the frame here, oh, I don't just quite, I could split that, Command B to split the clip. That's a quick command. And now I could create a split and maybe I drag this back and I don't want this portion or whatever. Okay. But the cool thing is I can go frame by frame. I can also go frame by frame to determine points of action. So like where I got that uh, clip to lock in. Get it to hook. Take my boot. I'm going to move in close. Take my boot. Slip that up. Get on there. So right where the clip drops down, and I can use audio as well, but I can arrow key that to get that action, and maybe now I want to split this clip, or I want to mark it, actually. Let's do that. M for marker. And now I can add some effect over the top here, like boom or whatever. Okay. So I just want you to be able to arrow key through content. I will also show you that you can do that with QuickTime. And that's kind of cool, too. Let me see if I can find a finished movie here. Uh, perfect. Okay. So I can arrow key this one forward as well. I'm arrow keying right now. And actually, this is less frames per second. This is interesting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Looks like it's... 13, 12 or 13 frame per second. Okay, I'm Carly Hansen, I'm a senior, and I am most concerned about sex trafficking happening around the world. Whoa, heavy topics. Okay, I'm Carly Hansen, I'm a senior. There's all kinds of issues going on with this video um, okay. when it comes to quality, which we'll talk about later, but I'm curious right now. Command I for information. 
the dimensions is 1280 by 720, which is good, but it doesn't necessarily say what the frame rate is. It's pretty, pretty poor quality video. It's been converted a couple times. Anyway, it, you can do it in uh, QuickTime too. Enough of a tour for now.